videos about how to create arrays in PIC microcontrollers using lookup table. In this video, I will show the other way of creating arrays using indirect addressing. So if we go to the slide here, indirect addressing basically depends on two registers. One register called NDEF and the other one is FSR, which is five select registers. They are both located in the data memory uh, at uh, the indirect NDEF is at the first register in the data memory of each bank and the FSR it's uh, it has 04 register and uh, similar in the other banks. So the point here in the, in the indirect addressing is that uh, let me just point to that in a sec. Yeah, is that the FSR? It it points to a certain address in the data memory, while the def register contains the value of the address where the FSR is pointing. So by this way, we can create an array, uh, which helps us a lot in doing different kind of operations in, uh, in assembly language. So let's start doing a simple example using MPLAB. Okay. Midrange, I will use the B16F877A. Next simulator mbsm uh, I call n address and direct address now we create the source file I call n also add all right So what do we need to do? We have an array which has four values. Equal, sorry, what's going on? Equal three, six, eight, three, six, eight, and let's say eleven. So we need to display uh, these values, display them, the values in for using port P. Okay, port B, what's port B? All right, so the first thing we need to do include the Include the file p16f877a.inc. Then we need to create, let me just put org00 and end. Now, before we uh, start doing the indirect addressing, we need to create a C block at 70 where we can store the values of the array so we can have x y z and uh, k okay so these values we can these variables we will define the values of the array in this variable so what do we need to do here now is to move LW decimal uh, 3 and put it into move WF into, into X. Let me just copy and paste. 
copy and paste it again control V now the value of uh, 6 will be on Y and the value 8 will be on Z and the last thing is 11 will be on a variable K all right now we initialize the variables with the values of the arrays of the array sorry now the next thing we need to do is let's just uh, go to the bank select uh, trace b just we need to make it as an output and clear if trace b then we need to move back to bank select port b now we first thing we need to point to use the fsr initialize the value of fsr 0x70 so we need to move the, the first location of the C block which contains X it's 70 will point will put it in the FSR so move WF FSR all right now we need to make a loop and go to loop now in this loop what we are going to do is we need to move the value of the end f to w now since we are pointing uh, using fsr to point to the array locations or the index of the array now we can use the end f to extract the value so uh, as an example the address 0x70 will point to the value 3 and this value 3 will will show up in the end def so basically the value of end def will move it to w and then we move wf to port b so port b will will display the values of the arrays now in order to keep going we need to increment f fsr so that it will be 70 71 which will point to value 6, 72 will point to value 8, and 73 will point to value 11. So by incrementing FSR, now we need to check the value of FSR. If we reach to the last value in the array, we need to quit the loop. So bit test file skip fset FSR. Which value we need to check? We need to check when FSR reached to this is 70, 71, 72, 73 when FS, FSR equal what's going on? give me a sec why let me just zoom it a little bit let me just reset let me just save that File control save. Yeah. All right. When FSR equals to seventy three zero x seventy three, this is the last value. So when we reach to seventy four, we will we need to quit. 74 it means or let's make a 73 in, in binary it's going to be 0 1 1 1 0 uh, 0 0 0 1 1 so this is 7 and this is 3 so when this change into to 74 that which means when bit number 2 change to 1 
we need to quit all right so this is how it works let's give it a try and but before I need to I need to go to the file register to see the variables at 70 let me make it symbols now we need to go to the 7 to make sure that we have the values the defined values so we have this is right now 0 now if we build all right so nothing there's no bugs now let's run it and let me just reset pause and reset okay so now let me just make f7 now the file register must contains the the values of the arrays at so as you see that we have three at 76 at 71 8 at 72 and 11 at 73 now we need to check see if we can see the read the array so basically this is the output now we make the uh, port b as an output then we move to port b to bank zero sorry now we move we define fsr with 70 you see fsr now it's 70 now if you notice that now double register has value of three which is the first value and the port b now will be three so this is the first value then check the loop so the next value of fsr is 71 now the value is 6 for the register which moves to the port b the last third value is at address 72 where it's 8 and we move it to port b and the last value is 11 where we move it to port b then we quit the loop so this is how the indirect addressing working uh, basically we have as you see that example we have an array of four variables we define uh, four sorry four numbers we define four variables initialize the value of the array then we use the fsr register to point to each value in the array and extract the value to using indef and this is how the indirect addressing works in big microcontroller that's it for today and thank you